Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to a brand new video and today I have a special delivery from Bully Land and inside this box we have dinosaurs and animal toys so I'm super excited so let's get started over here I have a pocket knife and a pair of scissors so if you guys are using this at home please have a parent to supervise you okay this is going to be pretty dangerous if you use it by yourself okay so I'm just gonna cut this right open right down the middle just to let you guys know these toys are kindly sponsored by Bully Land so I just want to say a huge thank you to them for being such an awesome company so let me just open this up and have a look at what's inside I'm super excited wow take a look at this really cool I think we have lots of dinosaurs and prehistoric animals so I'm gonna place this box right at the side and then I'm just gonna unbox one by one and over here what do we have looks like we have a velociraptor no I think this could be a therizinosaurus super excited so let's take a look at this brand new therizinosaurus from bully land in case that you guys do not know I do not own any bully land dinosaurs so this are my first bully land dinosaurs super excited I think this could be a therizinosaurus let us have a look yep it is Fairy Xenosaurus, very nice. This remarkable dinosaur lived at the end of the Cretaceous period, 71 to 65 million years ago. Wow, this one looks amazing. I'm gonna remove this tag and then we shall place this dinosaur, okay, at the background. It looks pretty cool, I love it. The details on this looks amazing. I love the claws and the paint work is excellent. Wow, you can actually move the arms as well. That is super cool. And which year is this produced in? I'm not too sure. Probably a new model. I'm gonna place this at the side of this waterfall, okay? This material right over here is very soft this is actually my sofa okay so not all of these dinosaurs would be able to stand and over here looks like we have a dimetrodon a dimetrodon is not a dinosaur okay a, dim a dimetrodon is a prehistoric animal and let us take a look so over here we have a dimetrodon for sure okay cool it belongs to a group called the Pelicosaurus, okay, amazing, and looks like we have an articulated jaw right over here, but let me see which year this is produced in, I think this is a new model, it looks really nice, Bully Land Dimetrodon, I love this huge sail, the color combination looks amazing, wow, this articulated jaw looks amazing as well. So we have a Dimetrodon, looks like a, a modern day Komodo dragon, right? So place this right at our side. Next, let's see what else do we have. Do we have a T-Rex? Okay, over here, what do we have? Looks like an Allosaurus, or this could be like a... Um, it should be an Allosaurus, let us have a look. Or could this be a Carnotaurus? I love this, it says Museum of Stuttgart, I think. Yep, this is an Allosaurus. Original name, Antrodimus. While walking up to 8 km per hour. Okay, that's not very fast for a big fella. Okay, we have a Theropod Dinosaur. I love this tail. It's slightly soft. There's no articulation on the jaw. If you compare this with the Dimetrodon, I beg your pardon. Wow, bird-like claws right over here. Fantastic. The details of this dinosaur is pretty cool. Pretty nicely detailed. 
very impressive and these dinosaurs are actually pretty large so they will look good on my shelf for sure and let's have a look at our next dinosaur let me see wow this one over here looks pretty nice looks like we have a feathered velociraptor I like how each dinosaur is being wrapped up nicely so we have a cool Velociraptor right over here. Could this be a Deinonychus? Let us have a look. Yep, Velociraptor was a small dinosaur which lived approximately 90 to 65 million years ago. So we have a Velociraptor. Amazing. Let me remove the tag. Wow, I can't wait to place all these dinosaurs onto my display shelf. Okay, cool. So we have a feathered Velociraptor. I love this color combination of green and brown. Looks amazing. And the details on the feathers is brilliant. Okay, it looks amazing. I do not have a lot of feathered Velociraptors. I think this should be my second one, if I'm not wrong. The other one was from Safari Limited. And this one looks brilliant as well. Okay, next, let us see what else we have inside this box. Okay, what about this? This looks like a Triceratops. Wow, this is cool. Okay, let us open this up. Oh yes, I forgot to mention, if you guys want to find out more about Bully Land Dinosaurs, please remember to go find out down in the link down below or play some links to the shop and to their website okay so over here we have a three horn face a triceratops very nicely detailed okay let me just remove this tag so you can see this beautiful frill nicely detailed and the horns there's two horns right over here has a very nice weathered effect as you guys can see the paintwork looks brilliant Triceratops is a herbivorous dinosaur and this big like mouth over here is very sharp and it can use to clip off plants and even like tree box so this is a pretty amazing di uh, dinosaur it's also one of my most favorite herbivorous dinosaurs next let's have a look at this one over here is this like a T-Rex? Looks like we have a mini T-Rex over here. And okay, let's have a look at this little leaflet. Oh, I love how they place this meat sign over here, which means it is a carnivorous dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus rex is also known as the Tyrant Lizard King, okay? Oh, it's definitely my most favorite dinosaur. Let me just open this up. Wow. You can move the mouth, so that is awesome. So we have a beautiful mini T-Rex. The reason why I say it's a mini T-Rex is because we have a huge one right over here, okay? So this could be like a young T-Rex. Looks cute. Okay, this T-Rex is actually very powerful. I mean the arms of this two I mean the two arms of this T-Rex are actually very powerful, although they look very small. They can lift up to about 100 kilograms in weight, so that is pretty amazing. Okay, and let me open up this one over here. And what is this? This looks like a Giganotosaurus. Oh yes, I've seen the name. Okay, let me just open this up right now. Very cool model of a Giganotosaurus. Amazing. Love the color combination of orange and green. Looks really vibrant. Okay, so let us see what is written for Giganotosaurus. It lived about 100 to 90 million years ago. Okay, and this is known as the giant southern lizard. The Giganotosaurus, oh, it has an articulated mouth, so that is pretty cool. Let me just remove the tag. Cool. 
I love all these little bumps on top of his body and this has a nice elegant tail slightly soft at the end so that is nice cool a huge carnivorous dinosaur and a Giganotosaurus can actually grow as big as a T-Rex do you guys know that? and what is a dinosaur that is definitely bigger than a T-Rex can you guys let me know? Okay, let's see what else do we have over here looks like we have a prehistoric marine reptile this could be a chronosaurus or a liopludon so let me have a look at the tag liopludon that's right so we have a prehistoric marine creature and this will go into my section for all the prehistoric marine reptiles and more sea monsters cool I think it has an articulated jaw but a slightly tight wow cool so with a movable jaw flippers are not articulated at the bottom it says hand painted by bully land okay a liopludon a prehistoric marine creature very nice i love the colors dark blue and black nice paintwork on the face and i love the teeth some nice details on the inside of the mouth as well Liopludon it's a very very cool prehistoric marine creature it's not a dinosaur okay next what do we have over here this is definitely a um, Dilophosaurus oh this one looks pretty cool it has like many joints so let me just open this up just gonna rip this right open I'm excited so we have a Dilophosaurus, I think. Let us have a look at the name down below. Yep, it is a Dilophosaurus. Scale 1 is to 30. Okay, we just remove this tag. Dilophosaurus, the double crested lizard. It's a very deadly carnivorous dinosaur, okay. So wow, it looks like we have an articulated neck. That is cool. You can't really find, you know, dinosaurs with articulated neck and the legs are even movable as well. So that is pretty awesome, but not the two arms. Pretty cool. Pretty impressive. Amazing details as well. I love the texture. It's slightly rubbery, but it's hot. Nice elegant tail and very bird-like claws nicely painted the teeth and the face is nicely detailed okay this is actually hmm i see let me see i think this is my most favorite so far pretty cool and next let's see what else do we have inside this box okay let us take a look at the t-rex over here okay maybe not i shall leave the t-rex to the last one okay this one looks like a this is a Corythosaurus or Sinkosaurus or could this be a Lambiosaurus? Definitely a um, Hadrosaur but not too sure which type of Hadrosaur this is. Let us have a look at this tag over here. Lambiosaurus, that's right. Lambiosaurus lived about 80 to 73 million years ago. Okay. A genus of dog built dinosaurs. Cool, cool, cool. So, this is my first ever Lambiosaurus. Very nice. I love it. My one and only Lambiosaurus model. And thanks to Bullyland, this is going straight into my collection shelf. Nicely detailed. Okay, let's move on to our next one. Oh, I love this Stegosaurus, one of my most favorite herbivorous dinosaur. You guys must be wondering, so which one is my most favorite herbivorous dinosaur? I would say it definitely has to be Triceratops and maybe Brachiosaurus. Okay, and over here we have a gorgeous, gorgeous Stegosaurus. Oh my goodness. Do you guys know that the Stegosaurus has a very, very small brain? I mean a small head to body ratio okay 
So this dinosaur is definitely not a very clever dinosaur, okay? So the Stegosaurus has four specks at the end of the tail and a lot of huge plates and the plates here looks amazing. I think the accuracy of this Stegosaurus is brilliant. Very nicely done. The proportion looks good. The paintwork looks good. The details looks good. Okay, in case that you guys do not know, this is actually a pretty tough model. It's a hot. I think it's made of resin. I'm not too sure, but it's a good model. Very pretty. Very nice. Wow. Which means, oh, it comes with a ladder inside. Cool. It says, please know that we have a special highlight in our dinosaur range, our Giganotosaurus Museum line. Receive a top score from Ocotest Magazine. Wow, that is amazing. And where is that? Giganotosaurus, oh, it's over here. So this one has actually received a, um, a top score. Wow, amazing stuff. And congratulations to Broly Land, okay? So in case that you guys want to find out more, okay, you can go on to bullyland.de. I'm going to place a link down below. So thanks to Stephanie for sending me all this brilliant, brilliant... Um, oh yes, just to let you guys see. So this is the Bully Land received an overall mark of very good for the Giganotosaurus dinosaur from Ocotest. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Okay, oh. So over here, what do we have? Elasmosaurus, I think. A genus of a plesiosaurus. Okay, let me just have a look. And yep, Elasmosaurus. It's a North American and Asian um, prehistoric marine creature. The long neck allows it to, you know, um, catch its prey easily. This is amazing. I love this. The four flippers looks fantastic and I love this long and curvy elegant neck. Brilliant. This is definitely going straight into my Sea uh, Monsters collection later on. If we have time, I'm going to show you my collection later but um, I don't think so. We are 17 minutes into this video already. Okay, what else do we have over here? Well, we have like little booklets. Amazing stuff. We shall take a look at this later on. Next, what do we have over here? Wow! Spinosaurus. A spine lizard. I think this is from the museum line as well. Because it has an articulated jaw and looks brilliant. The paintwork is refreshing. It's not easy to find, you know, uh, dinosaurs with bright red paint. So the Spinosaurus is known as a spine lizard. And is like a quadrupedal dinosaur. And, um, it could be a bipedal dinosaur, I'm not too sure. So this dinosaur model has, a, has an articulated jaw, looks brilliant, you can open and close the mouth. Nice paint work and nice details for the texturing. Cool, I love this huge sail. Very nice color combination, it's pretty unique and very rare to find this sort of color combination. Red and um, white looks great and I love all these stripes. Amazing. This Spinosaurus definitely stands, stands out from the rest of my Spinosaurus model. Okay, I think we have two to three more left. And what is this? Is this a Brachiosaurus? Let's have a look at this. Let me have a look. Looks like a Brachiosaurus. Europasaurus. Okay, I do not know much about this dinosaur, so let us take a look at what is written over here. It's a definitely a herbivorous sauropod, but in contrast to its oversized relatives, was not more than 8 meters long and 5 tons heavy. Oh, so this is actually a pretty small sauropod dinosaur as compared to, say, an Apatosaurus or a Brachiosaurus. Looks great. My first ever Europasaurus. Can you guys believe it? So we have pretty much a lot of first in this um, the box. So we have an Europarsaurus right over here. I'm supposed this is um, discovered in Europe. But let me just have a look. Europarsaurus, 
Jurassic period it's not written over here but I will get, let you guys know you know some videos later on cool so we have in Europa so it's gonna place it right over here okay okay the next one oh this nice we have the pteranodon a prehistoric flying reptile and this one looks amazing this really looks amazing okay pteranodon a pterosaur the details on the face looks brilliant brilliant and the details on the wings looks amazing wow i love the colors silverish gray and nice details on the feathers as well amazing stuff pteranodon 1 is to 30 skill and last but not least my most favorite dinosaur the tyrant oops <laughs> okay i didn't notice there was actually an opening so we have a tyrant lizard king right over here i leave it to the last because the t-rex is my most favorite dinosaur and take a look at this brilliant model looks pretty cool pretty nice but too bad it doesn't have an articulated jaw like the giganotosaurus but this one has won an award so we can't really compare them i love it i love both of them equally much so we have another T-Rex and this is from Bully Land and this one looks amazing. I love the paint over here, some nice airbrushing as you guys can see. You can see some nice master definition, but like claws, some veins and some creases right over here. A nice orange splash of paint on the underside of his neck. Looks brilliant. Okay. So let's have a roundup of all the dinosaur toys that we have from Bully Land. As you guys can see, we have a huge collection of dinosaur toys from Bully Land. I am super grateful to Bully Land and special thanks to Stephanie for arranging all these dinosaur toys for me to review. This will be an unboxing review. I will definitely be making more videos with this amazing toys. Oh! one of the dinosaur drop onto the floor okay so for me i'm gonna pick my most favorite dinosaurs from this set okay the first one i'm gonna say t-rex for sure i love the stegosaurus and i love this dilophosaurus looks brilliant especially it has this articulated neck which is not easy to find and movable legs very very cool I love the Spinosaurus as well, it looks amazing. Pteranodon, Dimetrodon, basically I love quite a lot, number of them. This Elasmosaurus definitely. Okay, maybe my top three will be the Giganotosaurus right over here. Elasmosaurus, I love the T-Rex, I love the Stegosaurus, oh this is difficult and I love the Raptor and Dimetrodon. Okay, so these are maybe the five of them which I like the most. Okay, let me know in the comments which one is your favorite one from Bully Land, okay? Okay, so that's all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave me a comment. You guys know I read every single one of them. And let me know whether you guys want to see another video from Bully Land. I'll be making another review video using this amazing dinosaur toys. So thanks once again to Bully Land. If you guys want to check out the toys, the models, please go to the link down below show them some love okay so that's all for today's video and i hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next video but before you go check out these four other videos that i've handpicked for you i'm pretty sure that you guys will like it and i'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video goodbye Thank you and goodbye.